Hey guys, Nova Joe here, and what I wanted to do today was to show you a way to farm for armor without actually having to uh, play the game. Uh, it's basically a way from controller method of uh, armor farming. So what you're going to want to do is uh, either pick the Ranger or the Air Raider, uh, basically somebody who has a vehicle, and pick a vehicle, or pre preferably a tank that has a lot of armor and a good uh, box pickup radius on it and I recommend just doing this with the aerator because it seems to be simplest with him so uh, take the aerator get his the biggest tank he got in my situation I got the B651 M3 uh, level 83 tank has a lot of armor so you don't have to worry about your tank getting blown up and I recommend taking a turret gun as well as a limpet gun and in this situation I got the limpet gun ZD uh, since it has explosive rounds and fires in a, a pretty nice straight line has a good range on it because you're going to need it to bring down the drop ships so once you have all that stuff lined up all that equipment set up you're going to want to go to mission 40 and set it to easy and now i'm going to show you how to do it this method of armor farming was originally reported by the hidden object channel on youtube uh, however after trying their method several times and failing um, I discovered some things in there that uh, needed to be altered for this to work effectively. So this is why I'm posting the video on my channel as well with, with the alterations. Uh, so first off what you're going to want to do is throw out some turrets so that you can take out the flying drones and uh, any ants that are going to come your way. Now in the background there are some cosmonaut frogs and you're going to need to, or not cosmonauts, but um, anyway I can't remember their names, but the frogs and you're going to need to take them out so just use your limpet gun on them but the turrets will take care of the ants and it'll take care of uh, any of the flying drones so once you get all that cleared out and you have gotten all the drones cleared out and the first wave of ants uh, what's going to happen next is spiders are going to come and you're going to need to take out those spiders Okay, now in this mission there are three drop ships, and the first drop ship over here uh, will be dropping off spiders. So you're going to have to uh, take out this first wave of spiders here, and then uh, as soon as the drop ship opens its bay, go ahead and blow it up, get rid of it. Uh, if you need help, throw out one of your turrets, let it clear out the frog, or let it clear out the spiders for you, and then just uh, wait for the hatch to open. All right, now that it's open, go ahead and use your limpet gun to blow up the drop ship. Um, I also recommend picking up a lot of the boxes. That way you don't reach the uh, box capacity limit. And so you're going to have basically boxes laying just about everywhere. So run around and try to pick up as many boxes as you can before getting to the final drop ship. Now what I like to do is blow up the dropship on the right and the dropship in the middle and save the dropship on the left for last. Uh, the dropship on the left is just going to drop some uh, gray ants so save that for last. Now once you've blown up the two dropships, the middle one and the one on the right, uh, you're going to want to try to collect a lot of these boxes, pick them up and get rid of them and you can throw down your vehicle to do it. And then make your way over to the last dropship area where you're going to need to pick up a fencer squad. Actually, two fencer squads are over there, and you're going to need to pick them up. Okay, now as I make my way over to uh, the fencer groups, um, you're going. I like to throw up my tank and then drive my tank over and pick up boxes and stuff on my way. Uh, but to get the fencers to join you, you will have to leave the tank so that you can trigger the captain of the fencers to uh, join your ranks. So once you've picked up the first group, uh, just look on your map for the uh, second group of blue dots, drive over to them, and hop out and pick them up too. These are going to be your main attack force. They're going to be the ones doing all the killing of the ants for you uh, while you're away from your controller. So once you have both teams, just get back in your tank and take it over to the third drop ship. Now here's where I differ uh, from the Hidden Objects video. In his video he stated to park your tank 
directly underneath of the drop ship where the or directly underneath the spot where the ants fall out I tried this and on more than one occasion uh, when I would come back my tank would either be flipped over where I wasn't picking up any boxes or in one situation I my tank was like through the floor um, the ants even though they're dropping on top of your tank will die underneath of your tank and pile up causing you to eventually for your tank to flip over even though they do disappear after a period of time uh, they will still cause your tank to flip over for unknown reasons it just the it glitches with the physics and you end up flipping so what i recommend doing is taking the tank and parking it so that the ants fall right beside your tank not on top of your tank uh, this prevents your tank from getting a buildup of ants under it, causing it to glitch and flip you over. So, and, and when I've done this, it has worked. So I just sit still, get back in, or uh, I get back in the tank and sit still, and just let let the AI do all the fighting for you. And as you can see here, they're just slaughtering the ants, and when they die, the boxes fall right into the ring uh, around the tank, and you collect all the armor, you collect all the weapons and it's just an easy easy way to armor farm away from the keyboard or away from the controller in this regard so you can do this for however long you want i recommend doing it for uh no more than three to four hours which is also what the hidden object suggested and i let it sit today for probably at least three hours and i collected probably like six to seven hundred boxes and that was spread out over all the classes so, all right, guys, this is how I do this. Uh, this is the changes that I do in regards to uh, how to farm this mission. I bring in turrets to take care of all the flying enemies instead of trying to use a uh, carpet bomb. And I also don't park my tank directly underneath of the drop ship. So, uh, thanks to Hidden Object for his video. This is just a little alteration to it. All right, guys, as always. Take care, God bless, and keep on going.